Greetings Internet, um, it's another gorgeous day in the UK, a few clouds in the sky today but yeah, pretty good, uh, nice and warm. Um, what's going to go out for a ride on the bike but I've got one little job to do first. I say little job because although it is a little job, um, it involves taking the fairing off first. Let me explain. So basically all I've got to do is um, change the fluid in the radiator. Um, I checked this last time I went out and I'll be honest. It didn't smell good, so it hasn't been changed for a, <laughs> well, more than a few years, but it hasn't been changed for a, a long time, let's put it that way. So um, I think it's time to, to drop the water that's in it and uh, give it a bit of a flush and uh, put some new stuff in it. But I believe to do that, um, there is a drain plug. Is it there? Yeah, I think it's in there. Um, but to get to the radiator itself, yeah, this side fairing's at least got to come off. Uh, at least the top half bit anyway. So, um, yeah, let me crack on with that, get the fairing off and see where we stand. Ooh, she's naked. Um, so, that's got this side off. Um, I've had to set the other side off as well. Uh, for the simple reason that um, the water pump's on this side. And, obviously, I've got to drop the fluid from there. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. It only takes about 10-15 minutes to get them off. Uh, not too difficult. Uh, cut the screws at the top there, three down there. Uh, there's one in there, one at the back and a couple back here somewhere as well. But um, yeah, just take your time. Um, not too much of a bother at all. Right, next job then is um, draining, draining the fluids. So, my calculations are correct. That there is the drain plug. That to me looks like the water pump, which is relatively obvious because it's coming from the radiator down there into there and uh, that one goes up to the carbs and it's round so you'd have to say there's an impeller in there so let's crack that nut off looks like an eight might be a ten and uh, well we shall soon find out so it is an eight let's just crack it off very carefully and let's see how much of the fluids I can actually catch in my uh, Christmas lights box. <laughs> right, this is going to get messy. Maybe I'll do the clever thing. Maybe I won't. Clever probably isn't good for me. Lost the bits, I'll drop the bolt in the water. It's a long old screw. <laughs> right, I was expecting more, <laughs> if I'm honest. Right, looks like I might have to drop that off. Uh, let me take the cap off the radiator first, because that then should help a little bit. Bear with. Okay, cap off. Oh. What we got? Hey, look at that. Positive stream coming out. Mmm, that smells lovely. It's not too dirty though, which is a good thing. There you go. So yeah, just an 8mm bolt there. Crack it open. Take your radiator cap off. And out comes your smelly stuff. I don't know about you, but I hate the smell of antifreeze. There you go, that's about what comes out. Not that much, to be honest. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now, because that's a little bit cloudy and horrible in there, and you can't see it very well, I'm going to drop that off and give it a bit of a clean out. Well, cleaning the inside of the expansion tank's a little bit of a problem, but uh, with a little bit of engineering and a cable tie, so some, a cable tie with a bit of uh, tissue wrapped on the end, as you can see, hey! <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> oh, Reeves, you're a genius. Well, I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's a lot, lot better. <laughs> there you go. Cable tie, tissue, tied on, stuck in, messed around with. Right, let's get all this back together. Oh, no, it's a standard MR2. And a noisy ice cream wagon. God, Jesus.
Hello. <laughs> Something went knock. Isn't it? Yeah. Something's broken. Who knows? That's broken. What's broken with it? Nothing. Draining fluids. <laughs> so next step, top her back up again. Um, yeah, gonna have to get a funnel in there. That's gonna be a little tricky. But um, yeah, if you scare the internet, as you do when you're changing stuff, a lot of people recommend this, Prestones. Um, it's pre-mix and uh, pretty much good for every sort of car, bike, anything else. Um, good for aluminium engines, which this is obviously. And uh, yeah, it gets good reviews and apparently it's, um, yeah, good. <laughs> what more can I say? But this is what's going in anyway. So um, yeah, ready to use, just chuck it in. Jobs are good. Now for this one, I'm gonna be using, well, what you'd say is a proper funnel, not my uh, cut-up drinks bottle. There you go, that should do nicely. Right, let's get pouring. Um, I'm not going to show you this on the video because it's going to um, it's just going to end up a disaster if I try and do it with one hand. Actually, I do want to show you this because look at the colour of it. Look, fluorescent. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the rad's about full, as you can see. Um, a lot of the air came out of it, so I think we're okay. Just obviously need to put some in the expansion tank. Um, probably just crack that um, bolt on the pump itself just to let some air out of that. And then probably strike it up and see what happens. So I undid the bolt there. Um, water came straight out, didn't get any air. So I think what I'm going to do now is just crack that one on the block as well, just to make sure there's nothing in the block. Uh, no air that is in the block, want water in there obviously. And um, yeah, just see what happens. Okay, so got it undone. See a little bit of fluid coming out. There we go. That looks good to me. I can't see any air in there. So I think we're good to go. Put some in the expansion tank. Top off the radiator. Start her up. Right, radiator's full. Uh, I don't think there's any in the expansion tank at the moment. Nope, so we'll top that off. And like I say, we'll start her up. Look how well that shows up now. I'm impressed. Right. It's that moment. Let's go through a procedure. Choke. One, two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, straight away, baby. Let it warm up. There you go, she's about up to temperature. And it's looking good. No leaks, no issues, no problems. And of course, I'll do a little bit of a clean while the fairings are off. So, uh, there we go. I think we'll call that success. But, um, there you go. She's, um, she's all changed. Let's say I had a bit of a clean behind here, just get some of the dirt out. Um, the, the, Thank you. The oil there actually comes off the chain. It's a little bit annoying, um, but yeah, you get a lot of oil in this area here, and it goes down the, the kickstand, obviously, and then yeah, you get dirty boots, things like that. But it actually comes off the stand. It's not engine oil or anything like that. There's no leaks. It's um, just as the chain goes round, the lube actually um, drops down into here and uh, and slowly gets warm and just drips its way down. But um, there you go. Um, fluid's done. Uh, like I say, no leaks, we're at the same level as it was when we started. So now I've just got to put the fairings back on and um, yeah, who knows. Uh, it's still looking okay out there. Grey one up there, but we're doing okay. Right, let's get on with it. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. She's back together again. Oh, need a bit of a clean, make some spillage there, look. So I'll give her a little wipe over. Um, because she does deserve it. I've been promising to clean her properly for weeks now and not got around to it, but um, It's just such a gorgeous day. It's just a, been yeah, some really good days lately So it's a shame not to get out and ride her because you know, I've been saying for years I need to ride her more and I really do because it's a brilliant bike and uh, Just puts a smile on your face. All right. Anyway, I am waffling. It's uh, still a nice day and uh, So I've got the missus cutting the grass and she's watching tennis. So Right, I'm going to get ready 
get my levers on and uh, enjoy it. Catch you later YouTube. Bye bye.
Not a bad ride and uh, fluid spot on still, which is good. And uh, yeah, I think the tank's about empty. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Yep, ain't much left in there. So, um, yeah, not bad. Just a couple of clowns to contend with, but um, there you go. The ninja did be proud today, she was uh, spot on. <laughs>